tracking an active weather day across the Beehive State. Just a big difference compared to the same time yesterday when we had the mostly sunny skies, the mild temperatures. Today there is a chance for thunderstorms pretty much across the entire Beehive State as we have a cold front tracking into the region. And this is a brand new update from the Storm Prediction Center indicating not only is there that potential of thunderstorms from Salt Lake down to Nephi, Beaver, St. George, but there's actually a severe risk for northeastern parts of Utah, a level one out of five or a marginal severe risk this afternoon and evening. This does include vernal, so the far northeastern parts of Utah are included within that marginal severe risk. There's that potential for some brief heavy rainfall, cloud to ground lightning, gusty winds and pocket change size hill with any storms that develop. And there are some storms that are getting going out ahead of that cold front. You can see that orientation of this line from northeast to southwest across the state. This is that cold front slowly drifting from northwest to southeast across the Beehive State, and there is some lightning that's being detected as there's some storm energy to the north and east of Salt Lake City, and this is where there's that potential for some of those storms to get a little bit rowdy, possibly severe moving into the afternoon and evening hours. And notice to the southwest of Vernal, the sill right here that I'm keeping a very close eye on. Notice those yellow, orange, and red colors. That does indicate this storm has a strong updraft. It's producing some heavy rain, some lightning, some pea size hell right now, and I'll continue to keep a really close eye on this as it moves off to the northeast at 35 miles per hour. That's going to put it into Vernal here in about 15 to 17 minutes. So if you do have a car outdoors, maybe you want to go ahead and park that under the garage, bring your pets inside as well. Could be a little bit of a rough time for about five to 10 minutes as that storm passes overhead. Again, that's about 15 to 17 minutes out from Vernal, and there is that storm energy in place for this part of the state where it could become severe. So I'll continue to keep a really close eye on that. Notice that there has been a lot of lightning with that cell as it's tracked from Deshane all the way up toward Vernal. That's the only strong storm right now, but there is that potential for some rain and isolated storms for Salt Lake, Ogden, as well as Provo this afternoon, and that will continue into the evening hours, but the coverage should go from scattered to widely scattered and isolated later this evening as that cold front continues to slip south, and then moving into tomorrow, only widely scattered activity is expected. Stormy skies, cooler temperatures behind the cold front, behind it in the 50s out ahead of it, price 65, St. George, 80 degrees right now ahead of the cold front. Even milder for southeastern parts of the state where it's 81 in Hanksville. Moab is 79 degrees. Moab should see highs in the low to mid 80s. It's going to be a struggle to even touch 60 here for the Wasatch front. St. George staying below 90 this afternoon, the first time in seven days. So the activity does shift farther south and farther east as we move into the evening hours as that cold front moves uh, from northwest to southeast. So moving into tonight, that favored zone will be from Vernal to Moab to see some of the rain chances. Southern Utah, St. George, a couple showers possible today. It looks to be mainly dry though as you work your way into St. George. Highs even cooler tomorrow behind the cold front, only getting up to 80 but back into the upper 80s by Thursday. The upcoming weekend, partly to mostly sunny with highs in the mid 80s, a really nice holiday weekend. We have one more day of really cool temperatures on Tuesday with some rain, but we're back into the mid 70s Wednesday. We do dip down into the 60s Thursday, but the upcoming weekend looks pretty good with highs in the 70s with partly to mostly sunny skies, only a small chance for showers early Saturday.